Welcome to JR's Lab. Today we're going to demonstrate how Salona Microslicing delivers guaranteed application performance for the Motorola Wave push to talk application on CBRS. This diagram shows the network currently deployed in JR's Lab. The LAN is a standard enterprise architecture on which we overlay the Salona private mobile network. The Salona platform is deployed by connecting Salona Edge and AP to the switch, both of which are managed by the cloud based orchestrator. In the world of enterprise wireless, we know from experience that maintaining predictable performance for applications like voice and video is a significant challenge. Our goal in this demo is to maintain the application experience for both Motorola Wave and our IPCC TV application, regardless of other traffic using the wireless network. The IPCC TV application includes an access IP camera connected via a multi-tech bridge which streams HD video to the LAN-based MVR. Our primary focus in this demo, however, is our push-to-talk application, Motorola Wave on Cloud. The Motorola Evolve handset, which you can see here in the live video from our Access IP camera, has already been configured with the Wave application. Lastly, we have a range of devices in our default group, including an iPad Pro, which we will use to generate upload traffic to the LAN-based server. Let's take a look at the current active traffic flows via my flow monitoring application. Here we can see the video traffic between the IP camera and the NVR. The next window shows our Motorola Wave traffic. And lastly, our default group flows, which is where we'll see the iPerf traffic. The camera is configured for 1080p Full HD video at 30 frames per second. And as you remember, we were seeing approximately 6 to 7 megabits per second per stream in the flow monitor. We can see in the frame our push to talk handset and a rugged zebra tablet which is playing high def video. This gives us plenty of movement, increasing the bitrate of the IP camera video stream. Remember, our challenge is to maintain that high def stream on the camera regardless of other traffic on the wireless network. Our clock source gives us a simple visual cue should any issues occur with the stream. For our Motorola Wave push to talk application, the demands are much different. Voice is a two-way communication medium that requires low latency, packet loss and jitter to deliver a predictable experience for users. I'll place a quick call to the group now. Breaker breaker for the bandit! And you saw a Motorola Wave client activating very quickly. We want that same response time all the time, no matter what else is happening on the wireless network. All of these devices are connected to a single Salona Indoor AP sharing a total capacity of approximately 125 megabits per second down and 25 to 26 megabits per second up. OK, let's start that iPerf upload, which is configured to push UDP at a target of 30 megabits per second to our LAN-based server for a duration of two minutes. This should effectively max out the available uplink on our Salona AP. OK, the iPerf test has started and we see the traffic in the flow monitor here at around about 26 megabits per second. Let's take a look at our camera feed now. No issues with the video feed on the camera whatsoever. It is continuing to provide 1080p 30 frames per second video with no pixelation or frame loss at a very stable bitrate. Our micro slicing policy has protected that feed. Let's see what happens when I make a push to talk call to the group containing our Motorola Evolve handset with both our video feed and iPerf upload continuing in the background. Breaker breaker for the bandit. Come in bandit. Loud and clear. This is Salona's micro slicing technology in action, delivering predictable application performance over a CBRS private mobile network. We maintain the application performance needed for two completely different traffic types, all on one AP. Now that you've seen micro slicing in action, I'll show you just how easy it is to configure your Salona private mobile network to deliver this voice and video application experience. We will use Salona Orchestrator to define our applications and create the microslicing policies that will ensure they will perform as expected. Let's start by logging into the Salona Orchestrator, our API-driven management console for the platform. After logging in, you will be taken to the main dashboard, where you can view status for all your Salona private mobile networks. As well as high-level status for your Salona Edge and AP assets, you will see traffic breakdowns, which can be updated to show 7 days information. 
If we select the Sites menu, we can then click into specific sites, and from here you can add APs, view available spectrum, and also see a list of those APs. They can also be viewed from the Access Points menu. Clicking on an individual AP provides more details, including channels in use and any connected devices. Moving down to the Devices page itself, you can view all of your SIMs, activate, deactivate, check their status, and assign them to device groups. Those device groups are used to apply application policies. From that page, you can create the groups and assign devices to them. Now we've completed a brief tour of the orchestrated dashboard, let's go ahead and configure our system to deliver the application experience we just saw. Starting with our IPCC TV application, you can see there are several fields available here. We know that Axis cameras are communicating with the MVR on the LAN using UDP over RTSP, which means that application traffic is coming from ports 50,000 to 50,050 on the camera, so we enter that in the device port fields. If the application used those ports on the NVR, we would enter that range in the remote port fields. We can also define applications by the destination IP address, which could be a single host or a subnet. If your application uses DSCP tags to mark traffic, this is also supported. So you can see we have great flexibility to add all kinds of custom application definitions. Creating the application definition for push to talk now, from testing we know that all Motorola Wave voice traffic is handled by this range of servers. We usually try to be more granular than selecting a destination range of 254 addresses, but in this case that's as specific as we can be. OK, all that's left to do now is create our final microslicing policies. You'll recall that our IPCC TV application requires 1080p 30 frames per second video at a variable bitrate. If we wanted to assign a guaranteed or maximum bitrate, we would choose that option. Because this is a one-way stream, we select streaming video for the QoS class, then we choose the device group and application. Click to save, and then we can move on to our Motorola Wave application. Bitrate is less critical than this application's latency, so we select non-guaranteed bitrate and highest priority signaling as a QoS class. Selecting our device group and application, then save, and that's it. We have completed all the configuration needed to replicate our live demonstration and Salona Orchestrator is already communicating these new policies to the Salona Edge and AP, where they will become active in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for your time today. We look forward to seeing you again soon in JR's lab. All right, fantastic. So as you can tell, we try to bring this to life, a variety of different applications running on the same network. Um, before I close, maybe um, I can go through a couple of slides to recap what we have done. You know, we tried to show you how easy can it be to actually integrate a private mobile network, a public private LP 5G wireless infrastructure to an existing enterprise environment, whether it's the compute environment, whether it's the networking environment. We showed you how we can soon enough be able to orchestrate device connectivity using embedded SIMs. And once these network infrastructures are set up, once the devices are configured, we can then go on business of supporting critical apps and protecting their quality on that LTE 5G wireless system. Again, we try, we're trying to make this as friendly, as optimized as possible for enterprise use cases. Uh, this is all something that an IT team or their managed service providers can build and deploy and support. When can we expect this in the UK? Uh, trials have started officially uh, early next year. So I uh, I get the wanting to go to market with uh, a turnkey solution, and, and that's great. Uh, any plans for um, more traditional uh, LTE 3GPP backend uh, integration? Yeah, hi, Luke, uh, Andrew again. Uh, what do you mean by backend integration? You mean integration between the private and the public carrier? Do you mean a, uh, a, a large private carrier 
uh, the K-20 in uh, Utah is doing CBRS uh, for learn at home, work at home, uh, but also for uh, enterprise connectivity on campuses and in regions. So school bus backhaul as an example. And so they already have an LTE core. I'd love to use try out a Salona AP, but uh, need to not use it with uh, the full Salona turnkey solution. So yeah, at, at this time, it's for a, that? it's a fully integrated end to end solution. We don't have any plans to disaggregate any of our components um, at this time. And, and frankly, a lot of our differentiation and uh, capabilities uh, are through um, that software defined packet core and the and the end end nature of our solution. Okay. Closing the session. Uh, listen, we are uh, building a slowly but surely we're building a community of advocates among our channel partners, among our strategic partners, customers. Um, as you can tell, if you go to our website, we like sh over sharing a lot. So we like to share what we know, we like to share what we test, even if it's not fully baked. Um, that's the only way to make ourselves better. Um, we look at our community online as a way of doing that. Hopefully we will start getting together um, with them in person as well in the upcoming months. But so far it's online. Come to frequency.salona.io. JR is not only managing his lab, but he is also pretty active uh, in this community. Um, relatively light group of people initially, but uh, we're going to dive a little bit deeper as our customer base grows. Uh, we know that this is going to be an immensely helpful platform for them. So we'd love to see you there. Um, and uh, of course, as anyone should, uh, an enterprise networking product at this point should be tried and seen by you in your environment if you want a pre trial or if you just want a custom demo. We have a variety of different journey options. So salona.io slash journey. Um, it's our desire to, again, share what we're building in real time and get uh, communities feedback.